look at this. Commonwealth. Commonwealth would be... If I cancel Tributary with the Commonwealth just to get great power status for PP, like... We'll go hostile to me in a heartbeat. Maybe declaring on the Ottomans is the way to go on the... If we declared Holy War on Morocco, France would join. Persia wouldn't because of war exhaustion and debt and manpower and a little bit of trust. We'd have France and we'd just be fighting Morocco and the Ottomans. I mean, it wouldn't be Aragon, Morocco, and the Ottomans. France could probably handle Morocco, you'd think. I mean, the Ottomans have 100,000 troops, though. That's something to keep in mind. Morocco's got 54,000. What does France have? France is not the superpower. France is a little below and in debt. We need, a, we need a distraction. We need something to happen here. Else hates Morocco. Good. Is that really a distraction? So Ottomans are at war with Ethiopia. This is maybe our chance, right? No, they are not. Ethiopia declined. Whatever. This will be gone. get more of this back from well, and doing this lets us fight doing this lets us fight the Ottomans and Aragon without fighting Morocco No, I'm saving up for uh, institutions, but I'll get my force limit up. why the Ottomans and Commonwealth aren't fighting as much. Or the Commonwealth and Hungary. I 
I just built an army down here, and I don't, I'm not paying my maintenance. So you have to wait a month for uh, morale to tick before you can move them. That's all. When your uh, army maintenance is zero, your troops have no morale, and so they're locked when you first build them. I'm just looking around the map because I'm kind of cock-blocked in a couple of positions right now, so it wasn't a huge position to move them. Where's that? All right. Aragon is at war with Castile. What's this war look like? What's this look like? All right, so Aragon's gonna eat Castile. That's just a fact. Taking dumb attrition here, but I'll group him up first. Give me the money. Do I need to tech up soon? Not really, so we can save it. There we go, all right. So now we have two decent stacks, both with, let's uh, pay our troops for a little while. Let's let him regen. So when the Ottomans are done with the Mamluks, I bet they're going to start thinking about Ethiopia again. Conquer Hejaz, well they're going to do that. <laughs> it's uh, it's not my favorite music pack, but you know, it's not my favorite. I wish uh, if I wasn't recording for YouTube, I'd have different stuff playing. But I get yelled at by YouTube if I play certain things. So. Yeah, yeah, it's just, I mean, I've done that before and then forgotten about it, then you have, like, rebel spawn and you lose a troop or something, it's just dumb. Alright, somebody needs to do something. France, you're more in debt. Why is that? Because you're at war with that stupid country again, France. France, you lose this every time, France. Like, Haiti's down here doing a better job than you are. Ugh, France. What am I going to do with you, France? How can I fight on my own without France's help? Absolutely goddamn no one. Pope. Pope lets me fight Hungary and Venice. Hungary is no joke, but neither is Venice either. I guess we can afford our army. Let's just go back to making money. Need some early frigates. Try not to go too crazy with the boats here, guys, but I do need some. Like 20, please. 20. Okay. So there's that. France fighting that just incredibly dumb, stupid war again. So dumb and so stupid.
think I want Pretender Rebels to spawn. Hmm. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, I've been seeing uh, like a lot of people set the HRE becoming uh, Emperor a lot more often. I think uh, right who's it right now? Burgundy, yeah, Burgundy's the Burgundy's it, and France might win it. So a little weird. This steel of Palatinate. France, you're killing me. Just killing me, France. You're hurting my heart. That's fine. And looks at all in a little deep. So France would not help because of the debt thing and the other war thing. Brandenburg, distant war and debt. Persia, debt. If Persia and France on our side, I'd feel a little confident about it. Not going to Tunis. these ships up. Let's see what I need to do. It might just be as simple as going after the Pope and breaking this stuff out of Hungary and Venice. So I'll be able to 100% the Pope after five years. I just have to seed something down other places. It's also not to be understated, I will control the Navy here. I will control the Med. <laughs> this is a very lucky start. I haven't played France in a long time. I've played a lot of big countries in a lot. But I am itching for an Irish game again, though. Alright, so we've got two... War, but make sure you're split in half. All right. Hunt pirates in Genoa. Let me protect trade in Constantinople. going. France, how's this stupid war of music going? Oh my god, France. I mean, at least he's got... He, okay, maybe he's going to win this time, finally. We can only hope. Gross. Alright, so... To recap, our great allies will not help us fight Aragon, because they're idiots. Will not help us fight Morocco. France will help us do that, but you know, then Mali's going to get involved. 
And if we go after the Ottomans, who are still at war with the Mamluks, nobody will help. you there. Well, fighting Rome would give us, or fighting, yeah, fighting Venice for Rome would give us land. And it's a way to expand. It's just so inefficient. Fight these two guys for a province I don't want, just so I can avoid stuff. This is great land. It's going to be so expensive to take. My guts. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Like like Portugal has been or Morocco's been doing a lot better. Um they've been getting allies with the Ottomans more often against Tunis, like and they've been expanding into this area a lot more. So Morocco, yeah. Portugal has been struggling a lot. Well, no, sometimes it goes both ways. Like I think Portugal and Morocco just fight more and then whoever wins that first war can snowball. Cuz I've seen Morocco have a lot more success too. Oh, we gotta do the stupid uh, institution. Independence guaranteed by that. Just fight you and Molly. Alright, France is out of that stupid war. Let's see what France is willing to do and where we want to go. So if we fight Aragon, clusterfuck that France will not help with for the moment. And it's all of this, Hungary too, that's annoying. If we fight just Morocco, France will help. Let's see Ottomans and Mali. I don't have a lot of confidence in France. I bet his troops are all over here still. Yeah, what happens if I declare on Hungary? Who would help me here? Brandenburg would help if he wasn't in debt. France would help if he wasn't in debt. So I could fight Hungary with a lot of people if they weren't in debt. I don't have a lot of money. I mean, I could pay off their debt. This is a big war, though. Aragon will be involved, too. Do this. I wonder why he's taking so long. Must not be able to get access into a doll. Which is pretty funny.
Better pay off that corruption. Oh, we are. We're good. I think it's gonna have to be Hungary. So we declare reconquest. Get rid of the Pope fast. France will probably take care of Aragon, even though I don't really see any French troops anywhere, which is frightening. Does France even have any troops? 39,000 somewhere. Down here. I, like countries that are. Um, poor Portugal. Countries that are involved in. Uh, colonizing like they're doing weird stuff with their armies i know this too like they're just they've been bad at managing their armies oh i can definitely pay for this no i cannot but why they think that i would not want a level one advisor in there but whatever yeah, that's why I don't want to fight, like, I, I'd be fighting them for a, a province I don't want to hold, even though I could get people that would help me. Like, everybody's going to hate me if I do that. Even though, I mean, it'd be great development, it'd be, great, it'd be a lot of great things. We'll be on Tech 18. That's not to be gotten. Fighting the Commonwealth is even scarier than fighting the Ottomans. Conquer the last Crusader Bastion. Come on, I would love it if Hungary declared war on me right now. Or if Ottomans declared war. Then all my allies would join. They're just all in debt. Um... I mean, Protestant, somehow, Protestant had all that and still came out of Catholic League. Like, a Protestant or Reformed Knights, though, seems a little dirty. Like, it makes me feel gross. Conquer Sicily. Hungary, Ottomans, Haiti, and Riga. Curious. That's a funny joke. What am I teching up next year? All right, we'll let it tick a little bit more. Your country of interest. Your country of interest. Your country of interest. Your country of interest. Attacking the Commonwealth may almost be easier. I might actually get people that help me for that. Oh, uh, Swedish Space Marines are going to be disgusting, though. Yeah, yeah, well, okay, so here's, like, the funny joke in all this, right? I, uh, at the beginning of this game, had a little bit of trouble getting uh, allies. And so I let I became a tributary of the Great Horde. And they were protected me, and it was working great. But they were reduced to one province. So then the Commonwealth, who had a, was my ally, and who had a personal union over Austria, great situation, declared war for the one province that the Golden Horde had. They full annexed him, which meant that they took on all of his subjects, which counts tributary states. So I am a tributary state of the Commonwealth. And if I cancel it, they will go hostile towards me in a heartbeat because they want all of my land. And so right now, I'm their subject and they'll protect me. Um, 
but it's preventing me from getting great power status. And I don't want the Commonwealth to, you know, go hostile and hate me. And so I lost my biggest ally that I was counting on to help me kill the Ottomans. So I've had to expand in this direction. And so it's kind of like this whole uh, careful what you wish for situation. I thought it was such a funny joke to be a uh, tributary of the Golden Great Horde, one province minor. It totally blew up in my face. Okay, now we can embrace. And now we can tech up. Tech 18, tech 18. Another group of ideas. Whew. Um, what do you mean Aragon's no longer valid? That's not cool. Uh, we'll go with Morocco. I want to fight Morocco. Now, I need to take Innovative for what I want to do. It's probably better to take that now. But economic is... Go Innovative here. We'll go Quality here. Maritime. I want to go Navy, Naval and Maritime too, so... I don't know where I'm going to find all these ideas from. What did I get? Yeah. Oh, was, is it cannons? Yeah, with the cannons. Gallop cavalry. There we go. We haven't level one yet? No, we have not. But we can start to finish. Maybe, not my navy tradition. Kind of wanted to get to here, but it doesn't really seem to matter a whole lot at this point. Alright, France, are you still in debt? Brandenburg and France, alright, so now we're getting somewhere. That's way too big, though. Morocco is annoying, Hungary is annoying. This France would help with this one, but he would be all in on that. Fighting Hungary. Brandenburg and not France, because France is in debt. So I think that's the one I want to do. Is it just France's debt? I could pay off France's debt. I haven't played... I mean, I'm, I do use a lot of cosmetic mods. But I haven't tried any of the conversion mods. I, I'm really curious about MEIOU taxes. Meow taxes. But, uh... I'm waiting to see what the stability is like before I invest in the time into that. I'm going to do with this campaign, though, is when I finish it, I'm going to take it into Stellaris, I think. And do, like, a joint uh, stream. So, whatever, I make a Stellaris sieve based on how this night's campaign goes and play it out. If I have to pay off debt to get 